Hey there. Are you interested in Tarnit? Maybe you're on the hunt for a house to buy or invest in, or perhaps you're just curious about what life is like in this vibrant suburb in the west of Melbourne. Today, we'll be exploring religions, employment, population demographics, household income, and mortgage repayment stats of the suburb of Tarnit. The data is from the Australian Bureau of Statistics website of the year 2021. I hope these stats will give you a glimpse into the demographics and characteristics of Tarnit. Now, it's essential for me to mention that the footage and statistics shared in this video are purely for informative and entertainment purposes. While I strive to ensure accuracy, please remember that data might change over time, and I'm not responsible for any discrepancies or inaccuracies. If you find the statistics intriguing and want to explore further, feel free to check out the Australian Bureau of Statistics website yourself. It's an incredible resource for gaining more in-depth insights into various aspects of Australia. All right, let's get started. According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics website, Tarnit is home to a population of approximately 56,370 individuals, with a fairly balanced gender distribution, where males account for 50.9% and females for 49.1%. The median age of the population is 30, indicating a relatively youthful community. Regarding households, there are about 14,117 families residing in the area. Families with children have an average of 1.9 children, while all households, on average, have 1.2 children. Tarnit have a mix of people from different backgrounds. About 27.0% of the population is Indian, and 10.6% consider themselves Australian. Many people also have English roots, with 10.1% identifying as English. There's also a significant number of Punjabi, 7.7%, and Filipino, 4.6%, descendants in Tarnit. The prominent presence of Indian ancestry at 27.0% reflects a significant Indian community. Australian ancestry, while representing 10.6%, is notably lower compared to Victoria and Australia as a whole. This could indicate a higher proportion of immigrants or individuals with diverse heritage in Tarnit. In Tarnit, the religious affiliation data reveals a diverse landscape of beliefs. Hinduism constitutes 21.1% of the population's responses, followed by Islam at 15.0%. The Catholic faith accounts for 14.2%, while Sikhism makes up 13.6% of the respondents. A significant portion, 12%, identifies with no specific religion. This prominence of Hinduism could indicate a significant South Asian presence within the community. In Tarnit, couple families with children dominate at 66.0%, followed by couple families without children at 21.5%. This distribution suggests a significant presence of families with children in Tarnit. Comparatively, in Victoria, couple families without children are more prevalent at 37.6%, while couple families with children make up 45.5%. Tarnit's higher percentage of couple families with children could indicate a relatively younger demographic. The number of private dwellings in the region is 17,274 with an average of 3.4 people per household. In terms of personal income, individuals in Tarnit have a median weekly income of $850, which is higher than the Victoria and Australia averages of $803 and $805 respectively. This suggests a relatively better personal income situation for Tarnit residents. When it comes to family income, Tarnit surpasses the Victoria and Australia averages again with a median of $2,081 compared to $2,136 and $2,120 respectively. Similarly, household income in Tarnit is notably higher, standing at $2,103, while the Victoria and Australia averages are $1,759 and $1,746 respectively. The data on mortgage monthly repayments sheds light on the financial dynamics of occupied private dwellings in Tarnit. The median mortgage repayment in Tarnit is $1,950, 
which is higher than both the Victoria and Australia averages of $1,859 and $1,863 respectively. This suggests that homeowners in Tarnit have slightly larger mortgage obligations. Breaking down the data, 71.6% of owner households with mortgages in Tarnit allocate 30% or less of their income for mortgage repayments. This percentage is slightly lower than the Victoria and Australia averages, 73.9% and 74.0% respectively, indicating a relatively lower proportion of homeowners with more manageable mortgage to income ratios in Tarnit. Conversely, 18.8% of owner households in Tarnit dedicate more than 30% of their income to mortgage repayments, which is higher than the Victoria and Australia averages, 15.5% and 14.5% respectively. This might signify a segment of homeowners facing higher mortgage-related financial burdens in the area. When it comes to employed individuals aged 15 years and over in Tarnit, the letting sector is road freight transport, providing jobs to around 3.9% of the working population. Following closely is computer system design and related services, employing about 3.8% of workers. Supermarket and grocery stores are also significant employers, offering jobs to approximately 3.6% of Tarnit's employed residents. Additionally, hospitals, except psychiatric hospitals, employ 3.2% of workers, while aged care residential services provide job opportunities to around 2.9% of the workforce. In summary, Tarnit stands out as a community with a significant and vibrant Indian population. It boasts a diverse population with a balanced gender split, a youthful median age of 30, and an emphasis on family-oriented living. A demographic dominated by couple families with children, 66.0%, signifies a younger community. Tarnit's median weekly incomes for personal, family, and household categories surpass both the Victoria and Australia averages. This maybe could suggest a relatively favourable economic situation for its residents across these income indicators. When it comes to mortgage, while the median number is slightly higher than the state and national averages, a significant majority of owner households manage to keep their repayments below 30% of their income. However, a notable proportion allocates more than 30% of their income to repayments, suggesting a segment facing higher financial burdens. My dear YouTube viewers, just a quick reminder, the data we're delving into today is from 2021, so keep in mind that things may have evolved since then. Communities and trends can change over time, but exploring this snapshot from the past gives us valuable insights into Tarnit's dynamics. How do you feel about the statistics I shared from the Australian Bureau of Statistics website? Did any of the numbers surprise you, or did you find them interesting? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm always curious to hear your opinions and insights. Don't forget to like this video if you found the stats fascinating, and remember to subscribe to stay updated with more content about Tarnit and other exciting topics.